My name is Vicente Garcia. I'm a sculptor. I'm a potter. This, my steel work, you go to the front of my space. I've got a potter's wheel. I'm doing demonstrations, working with clay. And that's pretty much what I do. A full time artist, full time university professor, teach at Central Connecticut State University. And I have a studio that I maintain, and this is what I, this is what I play with. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about your process? Process, they're. they're pretty involved. Uh, a lot of different processes. I, I love manipulating, shaping, bending, cutting uh, with the steel and just coming up with some forms that in a way are going to relate to my clay. So in my wall for instance you can see my steel platters. You can go into my studio and see my clay platters. Uh, my steel vessels. There's that steel stainless steel vessel on that corner of the wall. I make those out of clay, I make them out of steel. Hi, my name is Dale Rogers. I'm a metal sculptor from Haverhill, Massachusetts. I'm a metal sculptor and I work primarily in two different metals. One's core 10 steel and one's stainless steel. Core 10 is what they make bridges and guardrails. That's designed to oxidize or rust for about a year. And then it seals itself. It has a long life, uh, low maintenance. The other metal that I work with is stainless steel and that stays silver and shiny outdoors once again, long life, super low maintenance. These are great for outdoor metal sculptures. So I do a type of sculpting that's called fabrication, uh, fabricated as opposed to casting. When you see a bronze sculpture that's typically fabricate, uh, cast, then they can get a lot of detail in there. Mine's a fabricated style where I start with flat sheets of metal. I cut the basic silhouette or design and then I weld all the uh, corners to get it to be a, a panned method or give it the, the thickness that it needs. Um, anywhere you see a corner on my work, there's been a weld. Roger Di Toronto, sculptor, been doing it for over 40 years. How did you get into sculpting? Well, when I was in junior high school, I had a fabulous teacher, art teacher, kind of took me under his wing. Gave me little uh, projects to do after school. At first, it was fun. Then it got to be work, and then I got hooked. So uh, it did real well with the uh, Scholastic Awards. You know, as a young kid, and it encourages you. So I've been doing it ever since. Uh, can you tell us about what you have here? Well, I do um, primarily animal sculpture, metal, copper, bronze welded and um, I also do exterior kind of landscaping things, functional things, bird baths, fountains, gates. Well, I have a couple of processes. One is what I call fabrication, where I just take basically a hammer, a torch, a piece of metal, just make it, pound it, heat it, twist it, weld it, and then I do um, uh, sculpting in clay. Cast so basically sculpt it in clay, make a rubber mold, send it to the foundry, and um, so cast bronze and fabrication. Yeah, my name is Bud Sheffel. I'm a metal sculptor from New York. Yeah, you're looking at a series of different concepts in mobile design. Many of them are suspended from above, so they're closer to a traditional mobile, made of all stainless steel, copper, and an architectural steel called Core 10. So all already oxidized, ready to go outside or indoors either way. How long have you been doing this? This is year 30. Wow. Yeah, long time. How did you get into it? Um, my my soon-to-be wife at the time was already in the gift industry, and uh, I was in the advertising business. So design and my interest in math and physics all came together at this certain point in life and started making mobiles and now I'm at a very advanced level with uh, new designs every day.